Hey everyone, Furry Duck here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Last time, we lost our Snag Machine to Team Snagum because, well, they're Team Snagum. They kind of have a reputation for wanting to snag people's Pokemon, so that's why they nabbed our Snag Machine. We also took on Thug Zook, and we also took on Meyer V again. And this episode, let's head in here first. And there, first of all, we get uh, news. Yeah, they inform people what we already know. They don't know how it was transported. I'll tell you how it was transported. That Shadowlugia at the beginning of the game, that's what did it. <laughs> Obviously. And this is Hordell. So, yeah, the, the key layer of the north. So... Yeah, the place where we battle Thugzoot is Cypher's Key Lair, which is where they make the Shadow Pokemon. And he tells us that. He's going to ask us to purify the Shadow Togepi, so we get the Shadow Togepi. It's level 25, but it does have a new shadow move. It has Shadow Rave, which is basically a more pumped-up version of Shadow Wave. I think Shadow Wave has about 50 power, and Shadow Rave here has uh, 70 power. Now, when you leave this place, be ready for a battle. Oh, but first an email. So, Sek has discovered that they're still operating out of their old hideout north of the outskirts stand, and they don't know much about their group or Gonzap, which is their leader. So, Hordell tells us where to find it, and now that's our next destination. Desolate Spondine. Yo, Blake, what up? Those who play Coliseum will recognize this guy. It's Ryder Willie! So he's going to challenge us to a battle we can't exactly refuse, so, yeah, is it this familiar as well? It's the same lines he said to the protagonist at the beginning of Coliseum. And, of course, as with the first game, he has two zigzagoons. But he has more than that. He also has two Linoons, which is Zigzagoon's evolved form. I've actually used a Zigzagoon Linoon once in uh, Emerald. It's actually pretty good. It's a good Pokemon. It's not the best, but it's certainly pretty good. Brick Break You. Oh yeah, that is a nice power right there. <laughs> Funny story about this battle, I actually uh, forgot that this battle came up, and I only had the Shadow Togepi and a randomly caught Wild Sandshrew. And because of that, I lost the battle. I lost because I was forgetful. Go figure, right? Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm a loser for not remembering that, but hey, it had been a while since I played the game, but I remembered this time because i played through this game quite a few times. So yeah, two line in, both at, uh, and there's the leftovers effect, both at level 26, a fairly good level at this point in the game. He likes to spam headbutt. And as you know, I don't like moves that punch. Oh, and dig. I'd wager dollars to donuts that he's actually going to be targeting Voltar there. Because he is smarter than uh, in the last game. And what's nice about this battle is that you can actually challenge him just about any time, whereas in Coliseum you can only challenge him three times throughout the game. In the beginning, a little bit after you complete a bit of the storyline, and once again, after you, uh, after you snag all but the final Shadow Pokemon out of the last game, which was a Shadow Togetic. Oh, 
also apologies if you actually heard a little bit of a beep that was steam going off. I was just telling my friend Illusion756 that I was in the midst of recording. Yeah, I actually suggest you actually check out a few of his videos. He's got some pretty good vids. Granted, they're not the best because of, uh, well, yeah, he got... Uh, well, he's actually, uh... Actually, I, I haven't seen anything new from him for months. But he has been working on, uh, like, uh, sprites, uh, sprite animations, and different kinds of projects. At least, as far as I can tell. And I'm not sure if Ferris evolves at level 28 or not. It's been too long. I think I ended up a lot. I still need seasoning. Yeah, you do need seasoning. He will get tougher, though, and those two zigzagoons of his will evolve. Yeah. So, yeah. We got a Shadow Togepi. I'm... I'm gonna head back to the Shadow Pokemon Lab, uh, take care of some purification stuff, and then I'll meet you on the world map. So, see you in a bit. Alright, I'm back. I just purified the Shadow Voltorb and had the moves Mirror Code, Refresh, Spark, and Swift. Nothing special. I also put the Shadow Togepi into one of the slots and also switched some things around. And I put Sela back into my party because I kind of need her. <laughs> I like my hound, dude. Don't judge me. And we get another email. And it's from Trust. He says that the real game tower called Seum is reopening. So now we can go and challenge the real game called Seum at any time we want. So, yeah. But we're not going to do that for quite, quite some time because, as I said, the call scene is at level 40. And right as we enter the hideout, we get challenged by a team snag member, Agrav. Or Agrav, whatever. There's going to be a lot of team snag of people to battle here. Yeah, Burkrow, I used to think was just, you know, kind of useless, you know, since, uh, it was, all, it was introduced in Generation 2, and it, there weren't many Dark-type moves then. I mean, there was Bite, and there was Crunch, and there was Pursuit, but that was about it. Other than that, Burkrow was utterly useless. But, it got better, uh, when it got its evolution in Gen 4 to Honchkrow. I'm actually raising a Murkrow and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, Platinum to get a Honchkrow, and he has a Gold Bat, and it's using Bite. I don't like Bite because it almost always causes a flinch. But it didn't this time, so that's good. Zap you! I love zapping stuff. And Shiva levels up. And he has an Absol. Wow. But yeah. This spell's not that difficult if you know what you're doing. <laughs> Ice into the face and down goes Golbat. Voltar is now two levels away from evolving into an awesome Ampharos. I have used Ampharos before, I have one in Soul Silver. It is a very good Pokemon. I'm also gonna heal up uh, Voltar here because I really. I really don't want him, him fainting. Scratch. Despite that, it's a low power move. Yeah, it did a little bit of damage. 20 damage and static paralysis. I like Absol for two reasons. One, its appearance, as I've mentioned before. Uh, and second, its ability, pressure. It causes its... It makes it so that the foe uses up two power points when it directs an attack move towards it. And that's all it's used for. Draining the foe's power points is always, always recommended. 
Whatever the outcome, it sure was harsh. Yeah, harsh indeed, because you guys are idiots. <laughs> so, he offers, so he tells us that we could join Team Snagum if we want. Of course, I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. But yeah, for the final member of my team that's eventually going to replace Ferris, I'm actually uh, kind of thinking and deciding between whether to use Meowth or to use Zangoose when I'm able to finally get it. Pop up in this chest, we get three Ultra Balls. Now, as you can see down there, there's a treasure chest, but that's actually one of the... I think it's probably the only chest that's locked. I'm not sure. I we get two Hyper Potions from this one. When we come down here, this guy is going to try and stop us from getting our snag machine back. Jado, or Jido, whatever. It's got a coughing and an oddish. Nothing difficult. A couple confusions should be more than enough. And a headbutt or two. <laughs> Mason's kinda like this guy when he does headbutt. I'm gonna headbutt ya! I'm gonna headbutt ya! And a dust dox. Dust dox? I've never really used one. Nor have I really used a beautiful flag. Well, I have, but. Almost all bug types are really pathetic in my eyes. Except for Scizor, Scyther, and of course, Heracross. Oh, and Pinsir. Pinsir is also awesome. Yeah, down goes Dust Dogs. And I think that I should flinch last turn. If so, haha. <laughs> and a cool fish. I don't like cool fish. Enough said. <laughs> what a loser. Confusion doesn't take him out, Mega Drain will. And something just dropped. Oh, whatever. But in any case, that's gonna do it for this part of, uh, let's play, uh, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Next time, we press on through more of uh, Team Snaggin's base and hopefully get our Snag Machine back from Gonzap. So this has been Murray Duck, and I'll see you later.